Hello there. Uh, welcome back. Uh, I'm going to do the second part of the code. Is, so the first part, we were just going to check if we want to check if the recaptcha check is the recaptcha is present on the page. The second part of the code is going to uh, is going to basically um, you want to select get the correct frame because if you want to check for an element, you have to be in the the correct frame. If you're not in the correct frame, a correct frame, then it's going to return a uh, false. Otherwise, well, it's going to return an error. So I'm going to make the, the second function is um, I'm going to call the function um, frame select and for the moment I'm just going to keep this empty here. Oh, I, I probably should mention that um, you probably need a well, well, the browser this browser it probably needs to be a global variable so you may want to make that a global variable um, somewhere above like when you actually um, make the, when you, once you make the instance of this you have to make it a, a global variable so if you get an error then that's something you want to keep in mind but if you're an experienced uh, with the selenium then you should al already know that okay so the second part of the code you want to um, you want to be sure you're in the correct frame because if you're not in the correct frame then you can't find the element so um, you can put here a time weight or, or, or an implicit weight if you want, but I'm just going to skip that part for now. So the first part is I'm just going to put, I'm going to put uh, another, well, I'm, I'm going to put here another function. And we haven't made this function yet. We're going to make it later, but I'm going to put the function here. And the function is called, find, I'm going to name the function find lm, oh, element, find lm. And um, we're gonna put in. We're gonna do selector, and then um, action, and while. Again, we have not made this function yet, so you can. Discord, we're gonna do this in the third part of the video, but I just want to show you that it like this. Or it exists. We're gonna make it afterwards, but I want to put it in here just so you have a little bit of context to work with this to under to follow exactly what I'm doing. So and then um, in in this function here, I'm gonna make it uh, a variable called element. And uh, if the element is um, if it returns false, then it's not gonna do anything. But if it returns true, if the element is found, then it's gonna do the following. So if not lm element again, this this uh, this variable has not been cre created yet. I will create it in the next video, for the, but for the moment I'm just gonna put it here just to help you guys out. And remember this 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 here this uh, variable is either gonna be true or false based on uh, how I made it how I make it. I know this video might be a little bit out of order, but this is the order I want to go in. I want to show you how to do the frame select, and then after that I'm gonna do the function on how to find the element. So for frame in Actually, it's a, it's basically uh, it's basically the same code as up here. So we just we can just copy and paste this. I believe, um, yeah. So it's virtually it's actually it's almost exactly the same code. So I'll, let's just try all this. Copy and let's paste all that here. And let's see if I'm getting that correct. Yep iframe switch to browser okay so there we go um, what you want to do is uh, browser switch what you want to do is you want to every so often you may want to have like a, a check in place like a print statement just to know where you are if you, if you if you make a mistake in the code somewhere you need to know where you made your mistake so it's good to do a print statement here and in my print statement I'm gonna. I like to use these brackets, and and I I use these yeah brackets and then maybe some just just to make it stand out a bit more. And I put a star there because it's um uh because I'm basically I'm I'm searching frames. So it's searching frames, and it's I'm gonna write down here trying next frame. So if he doesn't find it in this frame, it's probably gonna try it in the next frame. Four, and then I'm gonna put here, comma, the, the selector, 
the selector is basically the um, it's it's the basically how we're ide going to identify the element. For example, over here, this I may use this as a selector, or whatever whatever is going to be on uh, whatever I'm going to be using over here for this element. So find next frame for the selector. You can add colors if you want to this uh, here. Like you can leave it as like this. Just to be simple, you can you can leave it like this. But you can add colors. And to add a color, you can you simply just uh, you just use this code. There's like for instance, you want to add uh, gray. I believe it's zero three three brackets ninety m, and it, it puts and then it basically all of this becomes a uh, gray. And then you have to put the, a similar code at the end to uh, get rid of the color, which I believe is uh, to get rid of the color. It's similar. It's zero three three, and it's zero m. So if you put the, when you put this here, it gives it a color, and the color is basically range. So it, it changes based on these numbers over here. For the moment, we're not going to put any colors. So you can uh, you can I don't want to confuse you <laughs> anymore. Than you need to be, so we can leave it like that. Okay, so um, yeah, actually we don't need this for loop here. This is not needed. Uh, and then again, we're gonna use the same. Uh, we're gonna use the same function here as a function, and we're gonna paste that here. So this function is gonna run, and it's gonna find the element. And if it find if it doesn't find anything. If it, if it doesn't find anything, then it's gonna go. It's gonna try the next frame. If it doesn't, if it's this uh, function here, if it does not find the element, it's gonna return this as false, and it's gonna run. It's gonna switch frames, and it's gonna search for it again. And it's uh, yeah, it's gonna search for it again. And if it, if it returns false again, then it's gonna go back here, try another frame, and then search this again. If it returns false, it goes back here, and it'll go through all the iframes. But the, the first the first round over here the first round is to see uh, without any without any um, it's gonna be on the default content so it's gonna search for the it's gonna search for the element the first time around without any iframes and then the second time around is gonna start using iframes to search for the element and uh, and you may want to put uh, at the end here just to be on the safe side you may want to put down here. Um, Browser, well, over here, browser switch to default. Like you don't have to, but um, just to be on the safe side, because you want to start off from the default. And the last line would be if element, saying otherwise, if element is true, if the element is true, break. So it means if the element is true, if the element is found, you're going to break out of this loop. Right, and then then you're in the correct you're in the correct element, and that's it. That's the the second part of this is to uh, is how to switch frames. So you're switching frames here to see if the element's there, and uh, yeah. So let's uh, stay tuned for the third part, and the last part is to how how to find the element.